I did think okay. of a, a very basic law that that maybe you should add. Yeah. I don't know if like I don't know if you have a default of where all stuff is legal or all stuff is illegal and t- unless specified. Do you have that? So right now it's just imagining that aside from what's written on the website, everything else is good to go. Okay. You can do anything. So then you cannot have you discussed property rights at all? I haven't. I made a note that just says property okay. rights. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Uh, so how about like who can be property and who can't? So like, like for example, can it, can animals be property? So as an example. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Okay, so um, I want to ask you about this a little further because I watched a video with a police dog um, that helped find this kid that was missing. The kid went missing, and the police dog like smelled out, like basically went into this nearby forest and found this like three year old that wandered out into the forest. Um, and I thought that was such a cool video. It was really cool. The dog found the kid. I don't know what goes into like the training of a dog like that. If they just have a miserable life because they're constantly being forced to focus on one thing. Um, hey, puppy. Um, so, uh, what? What are your thoughts on a, a police dog of any kind, but maybe even also specifics where if you think there's one version that's not good, like the ones that tackle people, where the ones that sniff out stuff are good? Um, I, in general, I would say I'm against it unless like – unless we have a high degree of confidence that it gives them like a better quality of life somehow. Like if we really knew somehow that dogs got some high sense of fulfillment out of serving a purpose like that and enjoyed the training and it wasn't too, you know, abusive, that sort of thing, I would maybe be open to allowing for that in my, if I was king. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh, But yeah, in, in general, I would be probably against it. Cause it'd be like, just like, let's suppose you had a human who had, who you knew was extremely good at detective work. Would you be for like forcing them into a line of detective work? If it would save that three-year-old kid, it's like, probably you wouldn't. So I would just mm-hmm. stay the animal in the same situation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I usually feel that way. <clears throat> I, you know, since I, since I value humans slightly higher and I think there is a higher, um, level of sentience and I, I don't have a full understanding of um exactly what that is um that's why i'm a little unsure um especially in cases where nobody else can do it so um a, a dog that helps a, a blind person walk i don't think that should be a thing um i i think a human should do that <laughs> if a human should do that if if anybody should do that i think a human should that should just be a profession that exists um whereas something like the ability to smell and track the way a dog can it uh the, that's the only those are the only cases where i find myself thinking maybe maybe depending on how the sentience works um I would say since there's no other option for this, but I, but yeah, I think I lean towards no animals forced to work. Um, what would the threshold look like for you if um, right now we have what we have and then tomorrow there were no police dogs and then out of all the, out of all the drugs that had been found um, going like through airports or go people in cars or uh, children that were found that were lost um, that we all of a sudden now have this much more crime or this, right. you know, like, is there a certain amount of kids that like if, uh, if uh, every year for the last whatever years, there was like 20 cases of uh, kids found by a dog where now this next year, there's like 15 kids die and five mm-hmm. kids were found super hungry, but they were found later. Um, yeah, it would, it would depend on those things. There would be a threshold. It would also depend on the, like the conditions of police dogs and that sort of thing as well. Cause like I'm against the forced being forced to work and that sort of thing for, for the dogs. But then it's like, it would be, it would take much, many more kids 
and to meet the threshold if it, it was also terrible conditions for the dog um, to be trained to be a police dog and you know to live as like I, I feel like the drug dogs especially are are they like addicted to cocaine and that sort of thing like I feel like it's not a good mm-hmm. life for them um, yeah without there would be a threshold but it would be it, the threshold would probably be um like assuming that it's not a good life for the dogs it would probably be something like um one kid saved per dog or something gotcha. something like that that's a good way to look at it per per dog um i was trying to think of how to come up with a magic and even that maybe but maybe that's too low maybe it'd be more like two kids per dog mm-hmm Gotcha. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. Um, are there any animal professions that you could, um, animal professions, that sounds funny. Are there, are there any cases where an animal is made to work, um, that right now you are on the fence on, or if if there's one you're more on the fence on than a dog that finds kids? Hmm. Like if there's what, a, can you, what are, yeah, yeah, I understand the that, question. I'm just trying to think of like, what are, do you have any examples of like ones that might be. For some reason this popped into my head, but if there's an Amish society that has like wagons and horses and they just don't want to do cars, but like that's how they move the wood from this area to that one to build a house. No. Is it kind of, they, they just have to get with the times. Yeah. They gotta, gotta get with the times. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can think of any others. I mean, there's a handful like, of uh, one. Stuff. One I could maybe see is like <laughs> if you have a field of grass and you want to hire quote unquote a sheep to eat that grass and like live free in it and fertilize it with the poop like that. But you're not going to kill it or do anything to it. It's like if 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 you're kind of providing. But I wouldn't want you to like forcibly impregnate or anything it either. It's like, it, but if you're just literally providing like, um, like a big field for sheep to walk in and mm-hmm. I don't know, I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, gotcha. Okay. So then, um, that covers all the uses that of animals. I got to run like five minutes too. Sorry. Okay. So just this last element of the five and then I'll take yeah. this part that we're talking about and add my thoughts onto the website. But, um, what should what would the law become if you were king when it comes to um animal ownership like do you think it should be um would it be worth um making it basically illegal in the near future to own animals completely and then we have the the rescue animals and we spay and neuter but by the year 2060 or however long we can predict as long as people do not breed anymore that as of like 2060, 2070, uh, you cannot own pets anymore. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Like if I am as, as against like pet ownership, uh, like as you are, um, I just like, I would want it to be, yeah, I guess on the net I am. I'm, just, I, I'm thinking about like just myself and it's like, I'm a hundred percent confident that my dog has an awesome life. And I know like my dad's dog has an awesome life and like, you know, runs free at the lake on the property and just like, you know, has just, he's also not like killing anything. It's just, he's not like, you know, it's not like a cat where they're going to murder like hundreds of birds or something. Mm-hmm. And like, I just, I don't know. Like, it seems like it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, like, if you're creating a life and the do- like, if she wanted to leave, she could. <laughs> like, I, I, I would try to bring her back, but like, she, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to catch her. Probably, she'd be able to just run away. Um, but I feel like that's not, it's not maybe practical for that to be the case for every dog. And so, how would you? Yeah, in an ideal world, I would, if a dog could have like the kind of life could be guaranteed the kind of life that you know beyond some like some bar i guess i would be in favor of it but then below that bar like for the dogs who are on a leash all the time and inside and like i would say that that's maybe not i would be against that gotcha, so gotcha. that's kind of that's not super clear but i think there might be a place for it but it would be very specific and it would have to be it would have to be kind of the edge cases, not like the norm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it, the hardest thing would be 
what would make it work best would be something like welfare checks, but how like yeah. can we afford that? Can we afford having everywhere where a dog is registered to live with a person? I mean, if the owner person? pays for it, then yeah, and it's like that's okay. part of like the the if, if you want to have a dog. I guess the other part is like how do you how do you end up with the dog in the first place? Because like we always rescue. But if there aren't any dogs being bred anymore, would there still be rescue? Maybe not. And then I don't, I would not want there to be like a breeding. So as I'm talking this through, maybe I'm, I'm against it in the 20 by 2060 or whatever. Um, but in as far as like the rescue things remains available, um, I would say that that like, that is still fine. And maybe as like the demand, um, demand increases beyond the supply that we put in those welfare standards with welfare checks funded by the, 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 you know, the pet owner would be one way. Um, yeah, maybe application process showing, you know, what your plan is and that sort of thing. And would be another way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, I know. Cool. <laughs> Those are my no, thoughts. No, yeah, that's that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a note about that right now. But anyways, thanks for talking. You have a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. See yeah. you, man.